So we've taken a look at some different options that are available to you to view files and view text streams and work with those. Now we're going to take some time to talk about text editing or editing those individual strings inside of text files and some of the options that are available with the program known as VI. So we're going to talk about the basic modes and navigation components of VI. We'll talk about inserting text, deleting, and editing text, as well as searching inside of VI and the associated text files. We're going to talk about some of the options that are available to you and how you can turn those options on or off. And finally, we'll talk about actually saving those files and exiting the program as you're using it. So we'll start off, basically VI is the original basic text editor. It's been around for a very long time and it is a simple tool that is used to make changes to text files and work inside of them. It actually has thousands of possibilities of different options and configurations and methods that you can make changes with. So it's very flexible and it's very, very basic. Now the actual use to get into VI is very simple. If there's already a file in existence you want to make modifications to, you simply type in VI and the file name, including the path if it's not in your current directory. If you type that out and that file doesn't exist, VI will create it for you. Now in addition to simply opening the file and starting to make changes or looking through it, you can also jump to particular locations, such as find the first instance of a particular string. So I would simply type in VI plus forward slash the string I'm looking for followed by the file name. In addition, I can actually move to a particular line in the file such as VI plus 10 and the file name. So let's take a look at actually getting into a particular file using VI. We'll simply take a look, type in VI space and the file name. So that'll open it up for us and now you can see here we can move down through each individual line. So the navigation piece is actually pretty easy. I'm using my arrow keys right now to move around. Now there are actually modes of operation used with VI. VI has two basic modes. The command mode, which allows you to move around, search, and send commands to VI. And insert mode, also known as edit mode, which will allow you to make changes to the text within that file. Now if you've moved into insert mode and you want to jump back to command mode, it's actually pretty easy. You just press the escape key. Now, as I mentioned, you can use your arrow keys to move around within VI. The older keyboards, or the older method of moving around, which still works today, is using KJHL for their respective directions. Now, if you choose to use the control keys, then we simply do control F for forward one page, control B for back one page, and then DU for half in their respective directions. Now generally it's a lot easier to use the page up, page down, and the arrow keys for navigation. So it really just depends on your preference. A lot of the folks that are from older school systems using Unix back in the mid 80s are going to prefer to use the control keys as well as the older keyboard navigation method.